days between master and disciples go beyond the difficulties of life will be presented in Formosan and English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis or Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech Slovak, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Formosa, Taiwan, is a small town, but it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. In the Papua region, there is a big deal. The land of the land, 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 and the land of the land. It's a big deal. 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 甲翠绿嘅松林，南部是本岛出名嘅文化中心。到即马，游玩保有真侪早期移民初到出地时嘅传统。两千零七年年初，青海无相思回应了咱世界花花园新地嘅渴望。在零七年二月十八，参加新年的庆祝活动，佮来自全世界大约一万名的世界会会员佮贵宾，在福尔摩沙欢庆今年的旧历新年。这吉祥日节的当日，也是全球优秀领导奖的颁奖典礼。青海无相思颁奖予菲律宾前总统罗姆斯。故事和平奖，基金会会长曼纽尔·莫拉托先生，甲参议员何何森·阿尔瓦雷兹，表彰因伫菲律宾对伊洛难民所做诶慈善义举。今麦邀请恁做伙聆听：一九九四年十二月，甲一九九五年正月，青海无常书伫福尔摩沙西澳。会见西方动手的时阵所做的开始，主题是生命因为淬炼而升华。Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org. Or contact any of our centers near you. When association members convene from around the world, Supreme Master Ching Hai often meets with groups of different nationalities for discussions in English or their native language. So the gentleman asked why the Lord of Karma let it happen, you know, and then blame it on us and create a situation so that we do it in the beginning and then blame it on us because the decision is not ours all the time. I say yes, but we have free will. We know what is good, what is bad. It's not that always we don't know, huh? But when we're strong enough, then we make decisions. We say, oh, I know, I want to kill this person, but I don't. I don't do it because it's not morally accepted. I, I don't do this kind of thing. Then you don't. But sometimes the force of bad karma is so strong, it blinds you, it deafens you, that you do it without knowing. And when you know it, it's too late. And even sometimes you know it, but you cannot help it. You just do it like an automaton. And then you regret later. So that's why I say, for such a weak person, you, you need a friend, a good friend, or a master, like a master, a teacher, or initiate. You have to be initiated. And then the master lessen the force of bad karma for you. Maybe not completely erase, but lessen so that you can bear it. Then your willpower is stronger and strengthen your moral understanding and background. You see.
and keep reminding you all the time, the precept, yeah? And then you eat vegetarian, and then you're less aggressive, and you meditate, you're more loving, you see? So the force of karma cannot affect you that much anymore. So when even if you have the urge to kill or to hit someone, you can control. Then no, this is bad karma, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get back again. You can control because your willpower is strong enough than when you're not initiated, yeah? That's it. You know, when you're so weak and you cannot desire, you cannot listen to your own self, the Master will tell you inside, don't do it, don't do it, don't. Or create some obstacles so that you cannot carry out, you know, the plan that bad karma intended for you. So that's the good thing of having a, a strong friend around, okay? That's it. <laughs> Wenn eine innere Stimme mit mir redet, wann weiß ich, dass es mein Meister ist und wann ist mein Ego? Wie kann ich das unterscheiden? Aber wenn das gut ist, dann ist es vom Meister. <lacht> Was ist gut? Na, meistens ist es nicht so ein Ding, so rede, wie ich rede. Es ist nur ein, eine Institution. Ne? Wenn es gut für dich, dann ist es gut. Okay? Du musst doch wissen. Du musst doch fühlen, das ist vom Meister. Okay? Ansonsten äh, musst du beten äh? und meditieren ein bisschen weiter. Und dann weißt du, was ist was. Okay? Mhm. Es ist okay, einen äh, Fehler manchmal zu machen. Okay. Also wenn man den Fehler macht und so mitten später weiß, das ist okay. Bad. I, I get punished or can no. I be bad? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. When you make mistake, because you don't know whether this feeling comes from master or comes from your ego. Yeah, and uh, you cannot get a clear direction because you're not you're so strong in the intuitive power. Then you just try what is the most comfortable for you, yeah? and then pray to the master. Say that's all I know. That's the best I can. And then you're not responsible, and you don't do it on purpose to harm people or to disobey master. It's just because your level is like that. I must understand. You are allowed to make mistakes sometimes, so you learn. Next time you say, Oh yeah, this is the wrong. It's okay. Yeah. Don't worry, you are not a Buddha overnight. Huh? It's okay to make mistakes. Forgive yourself, okay? And try again. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. And you never know if it's a really a mistake. Yes, you know? Right. Sometimes it's planned for you so that you do it that way. Take yourself away from all the responsibility. As long as you don't do things on purpose just to against the master teaching or to do some harm to other people, you know? Then it's okay, okay? Ist okay. Ja. Äh, Jesus hat in der Bibel äh, gesprochen vom jüngsten Tag. Wann ist denn der jüngste Tag oder was ist? The Doomsday. Ah. Uh, the end of the world. Ja. Also er spricht dann vom Gericht der Welt. Wenn der Welt endet, dann endet der Welt. <lacht> dann wissen wir schon schnell genug, okay? Wenn es noch nicht endet, dann, dann leben wir weiter. Huh? Bis unser Leben endet. Mit meinen äh, Familienangehörigen, sie diskutieren mit mir immer über die Bibel. Ah. Und dann ist es immer der jüngste Tag da. Okay, dann machst du Spaß damit. Ah. Ah. Sagst du, ah ja, wenn die Welt endet, dann wissen wir. <lacht> Ansonsten wissen wir nicht. <lacht> nee? ah. also da sitzt dann, dann immer spekulieren, das nee? kann man nicht äh, prüfen. Ah, was ich sage, wahr oder was du sagst, wahr ist. Nee? Ah, ja, macht Spaß. Ja. Okay. Wenn wir unser Leben enden, das ist die Weltende für uns. <lacht> Eben die Welt ist äh, weitergehen, das geht uns nicht mehr an. Wir müssen mehr um diese, unsere Moral und um Gottes Willen darum kommen, nicht um die Ende der Welt. Ja? Wenn die Welt weitergehen, aber wir weiter von Gott gehen, das ist auch nicht gut. Ja, hm? yeah, we should worry more about the end of our life, whether we have fulfilled our life in a moral light or not, whether in a God's will or not, if we have lived our life according to our best conscience or not. We should not worry about the end of the world. Because even if the world continues to go on and we continue to go further from God, then it makes no difference, right? It's no good for us. Um, I always try to tell my friends how important it is to initiate mm -hmm. but if they are all liberated without us, so it's not so important for them, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, depends. You see, if you love that friend, okay, and that friend, even though not initiated, but she desires liberation, or at least she's not attached to this world, she don't want to come back, then you get liberation. If she strongly wants to go back, then we have to let her. 
we cannot force anybody to heaven. But heaven, you know, difficult to go. Even then we cannot force people good things. Yeah? <laughs> they go when they want to, okay? If your friend wants to, for example, eh? and he doesn't know about the Master, or cannot yet uh, get initiation, maybe you never know. Outside they don't want him to talk about it, but inside they believe. Yeah, some people, some husband, you know, just because of faith and pride, I don't want to discuss about Master with the wife. Secretly, he read the book, you know, when she's not home. Sometimes she cut it, you know, because the book arranged differently. Yeah. Or he changed, you know, differently, things like that. You never know. The Lord looks into a man's heart, not uh, what he says or what he does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't worry about your friends. If they want to get liberation, they get liberation. If they don't want, nothing we can do about it. Hmm? Even God won't interfere. Okay? Each one must live out his life. Eh? and his desire. <laughs> Only when you are desire free, then you can go. Hmm? Okay? Why should you force your wife or your friend to heaven? They won't enjoy it there. They love coffee shop, karaoke, you know, everything, rock and roll. Heaven may be boring. <laughs> yes. I told you the story about a man who has a friend who is a gambler. Eh? And this man is a psychic. Yeah? And when he meditated, he saw his friend suffering in a filthy place. He died. The friend died. Yeah? And suffering in a kind of astral region, you know, with the filthy places and playing cards there. So he thought, okay, my friend, I must help him. Hmm? He has the power to bring one or two persons into heaven, summer land, thing like that. So he came there and invited his friend to go to heaven with him, a higher level clean, fresh air, flowers, people, beautiful, walking around everywhere. And then all the while, music and all that. And then uh, he introduced him everywhere, you know, beautiful palace, temple, people, nice and all this. Yeah. And then after about a few hours, the friend finally cannot bear it anymore and said, can we go back now? <laughs> yeah. So heaven is not for everyone, you know. As I told you, maybe dog like his dog like. Yeah. Maybe exchange for human being. He don't like it. What? Get up five o'clock in the morning, rushing for the bus and fighting to the highway traffic? Nah, no chance. I have to pay for political tax and that oh what for, you know? Dog life is more beautiful. <laughs> Carefree, right? <laughs> Except work in jail, you don't have to do anything else. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Each one loves his own form. There's a story about Vishnu. He incarnated into a form of a bird in order to help somebody, liberate them. But afterward he enjoys so much being a bird, he forgets that he's a Vishnu. <laughs> so also a heavenly being has to come down and remind him he has to go back to heaven. He's a lord of heaven, second world. He say, what? To be a bird is so nice. <laughs> and when my father, uh, I drink from the spring and I eat from the berries, all free. What uh, for being a king of heaven? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> nobody can, can tell him to go back to heaven until they have to go and beg Shiva to come and help. Shiva just <laughs> shot an arrow, you know, kill the bird instantly. <laughs> and then the Vishnu is free. <laughs> go back to heaven. Then he remember. As long as he wear the feather clothes, he can't remember he's a Vishnu. Even then. Uh, he gets so trapped in the illusion. Hmm? Can I remember? <laughs> yeah. How do you know, you know, that the people like heaven or not? Yeah, they don't. Not everybody likes it. When I was in Malaysia, I told you probably the story already. The government made a lot of nice building, you know, higher building and clean, more hygienic with the toilet and things like that. And give it free to the people. They're Muslims, you see, they believe in sharing. Free to them. Or very low rent. And the slum people, you know, with the metal sheets on their very hot, you know, and living in an unhygienic condition. The government moved them there for free, but afterward they moved down. <laughs> and they miss it, you know. And when they walk out, it's the earth, you know, and they like it. They don't like it even in a high uh, elevated house. They even more clean and free. They don't want it. It happened. Not everybody like that, but it happened, see. So five generation liberation. It has to up to their will also, you see. And how strong also your will to influence them. <coughs> you meditate. 
And you give them also a boost, a lift, a change in consciousness. So the more percentage awakening in them. Of course, so you must be strong. You must be a good bridge. <laughs> People to walk across. If your bridge is shaky, and they're afraid to walk over. <laughs> People, sometimes their bad karma is so heavy that even seeing God make them suffer. You know, you see in the Buddha, if you're burning, uh, in the book of the death of the Tibetan, it described very, very clearly that the people after they die, sometimes they see a lot of light when their soul is still wandering in the stage of uh, waiting list, yeah? not yet decided where to go. Sometimes people are not decided. Some people go straight to heaven, some people go straight to hell. Even the case is so clear. Some people are not good or bad, you know, hanging between for 49 days or something. And so they saw a lot of light. Yeah? Some are very soft and comfortable to the eyes. Yeah? And some are so bright that it hurts their eyes, that they cannot even look at it. But the book advises that you go for the forceful light, go for the light that hurts your eyes. That is the light of the Buddha. That's where you must go for liberation. Don't follow your feeling and go to the sublight where the astral world and lead you to hell and the astral existence. Etc. Etc. And this is true. But most people cannot walk to that kind of light. Something like pulling them back, you know, mm-hmm. like they walk up hill. Yeah. And if you hurt in their eyes, and they just cannot go, even though if they know. So not everyone is uh, comfortable <laughs> in heaven, huh? Yeah. Even here, for example, huh? For some of you, here is heaven. But for some of people, oh, they don't even want to walk in. You know, they think we're crazy, sit there all day long, what to do? <laughs> but for us, it's the, you know, we don't want to even stand up or go home. Wie ist es dann, wenn wir initiiert sind und rüberkommen und das Licht sehen, wenn jetzt von uns auch jemand dabei ist, wo bisher vielleicht Angst gehabt hätte, in das Licht zu gehen? Und wenn wir initiiert sind, können wir dann da durchgehen mit, äh, an der Hand der Meisterin? Natürlich. Uh, hast du keine Angst dann? Kein Problem. Wenn du mit dem Meister hast du keine Angst mehr und, und, und hast du kein mehr unangenehm Gefühl. Ja? Und der Meister weiß, äh, wie weit du gehen kannst. Er will, will dir nicht, wenn du die zweite Stock, dann der Meister führst du zum zweiten Stock und das da. Und jeden Tag etwas studieren und dann später weitergehen. Ne?欢迎收看今天的《书道之间》节目 it's a joy to have you with us today for this segment of Between Master and Disciples. Please tune in again next Monday for Part A of Go Beyond the Difficulties of Life, a lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai in Shihu Formosa. Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants is coming up next on Supreme Master Television, right after Noteworthy News. May Providence guide you in light, wisdom, and peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.com